this is Tanya Atomic, and this is my mini review for Blood Harvest. Now, Blood Harvest is a sort of a B horror, like a B, I, I would say late 80s horror film, um, which I feel like it isn't very noteworthy aside from the fact that it stars Tiny Tim. Now, Tiny Tim is in this as a, an adult person who's kind of, he's been scarred from a traumatic experience and he has started dressing as a clown wearing clown makeup but the unique thing or the tiny timish thing is he will often go into monologues and he will sing it, you know he will be basically be tiny tim and um other than that it's not a bad film it's not a terrible film for a b horror movie of that time you know I, it seemed familiar i feel like i've seen a lot of movies like that um, but there wasn't anything super outstanding. The main actress was good. She was pretty... I thought she was actually very good. But, um, like I said, as far as, like, story goes or whatever, um, it isn't, like, that amazing or that different from things that I've seen. Um, there's a couple twists, you know, that kind of thing that are... That isn't... You know, that you might not... Well, I don't know. You might see coming. But it's um, got some story elements that... Are that aren't you know like super obvious or super copycatty or anything like that it's not like that it's just that the tone I've seen movies with that same kind of tone before um, there's not really a lot of humor in it um, there's some you know the killer actually um, there's some kind of stuff in there where he is sort of um, a sexual like predator as well and that stuff's gross um, and yeah, I mean, it is a horror film, so it's scary, and that part's yucky. It's, it makes me feel yucky. <laughs> um, um, and all of that, I probably would find forgettable, except for Tiny Tim is in it. And um, I really enjoyed Tiny Tim. I, I'm a fan. I, I think he's this spectacular person who um, really comes from a different era, or is from a different era, like an old troubadour or like a vaudevillian performer or somebody who just really isn't um, of his time and in that way I think he was very unique and very special in the fact that he had elements of of these kind of bygone era type performers and was in a time that didn't really have that and I felt like in that way he was very unique and very valuable for that for the time that he um, lived I guess for lack of other way to say it but anyway um so yeah I find him very special and interesting and thought that his performance was tiny Tim I mean he wasn't like um very standout I mean he was very tiny Tim ish in this movie but um at the same time I enjoyed watching that um, I thought that his interaction with the lead character, female, was very good too, um, but he didn't really do much else other than that. You know, he did he did some monologues, he did some songs, and he interacted with the main character, female. Um, and I would say I probably wouldn't watch this film again, aside from watching this for Tiny Tim. <laughs> I mean, really, I... I enjoyed Tiny Tim in this, I enjoyed watching Tiny Tim in this, and the rest of the film was fine. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't great or memorable to me, um, aside from Tiny Tim. So, so it basically blah, 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 Tiny Tim. Um, if you're a Tiny Tim fan, definitely watch this. If you're not, probably don't watch this. Um, if you are a little bit squeamish about, like, sexual predator type stuff in horror maybe don't watch this. Um, I would suggest this too. I mean, if you really like that kind of like B horror, I mean, it's not like, like a 80s horror, like a age horror is amazing, but it's definitely like that B low budget eighties horror. Um, if you, and some people really love that stuff. And if you do, then I would say, check this out. So that's who should watch it people that like that and people that like Tiny Tim. And um, there you have it. <laughs> anyway, thanks. I'm not sure what I'm going to watch next. Well, I think I know what I'm going to watch next, but I'm not going to say because I'm not 100% positive. So anyway, I will catch you next time.